Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We got ourselves a replay analysis. This is GC1 2v2 Jamie YT. So let's jump into it and see how it goes. So, if you guys see, I actually have a um, drawing thing on screen so I can actually make some arrows. Um, if you guys remember a while back, I used to be able to do it, but I didn't like that Bacchus mod plugin. I thought it was a little clunky. I mean, this is kind of even more clunky, but... Um, I know a lot of coaches use this thing. It's called Epic Pen, I think it's called. So, um, yeah, I'm just using that from now on. But apparently, I have to keep my game in windowed mode so I can see both this little software thing and the game. So just bear with me here. Okay, yeah, he just hesitated here. Well, actually, no. I mean, this is fine. It's just the thing is... You can get this big boost, however, you gotta get back, uh, on the wall. Because you gotta give yourself space. Now, if you go on the wall here, right, you'll be able to save any coming attack. So, for example, if you just kept, if you actually grab the boost, right, so you're over here, you go back, grab the boost, jump up here, and save it. You have to go on the wall, basically. That's basically what you have to do. Now, you don't have to. If you want to take a more aggressive route, you can actually understand that he's going to be beat to this ball if you stay relatively close to it. Jump up and hit it around him. Hit it over this way. So it's, it's away from both players. You can definitely do that too. Um, so you have two options. But the problem is with this is that the number one thing here is that you kill your momentum. And when you kill your momentum, you can't react to a shot that's really quick like this. So that's why you get scored on. Now, I see you sent me a clip where you absolutely obliterated these guys. It's like 8 to 2. So, um... Hopefully there's something that we can learn from this, because... That's why I keep telling people to send losses, because... I'm not saying that this replay might be bad, but I'm just saying in general, you should send replays where you get humiliated, uh, because... It's just easier to find mistakes and talk about that. Now, if you play really well in these replays, and there's not much for me to say, but you might be thinking, well, there should be a problem even in my good games, which is true, but it's going to be kind of difficult to point it out. Okay, this is a good try. I think just next time, you got to be a little farther back, because you got to cover... Um, let's see if I can use this little thingy here. So, you got to... Stand like right here, right? Because he's gonna obviously the ball is going this way, and he is going towards that direction, and he might be able to bring the ball, which is what he does. So if you land in or stay in this general area, you should be able to cover for if the ball comes in through uh, this way directly, or if the ball ends up off the wall and it bounces towards middle as well. So. That's why you got to cover, uh, you know, farther back. If you get too close, then really your only options are, um, like, let's say if this is your car here. If you get too close, you're really only covering this area. And there's more than likely a chance that the ball can go behind you. So, uh, you do not want to do that. So, that's why you got to position for the uh, best case scenarios right so what happens here is by the time you jump you're pretty close right look how awkward this is right and not only that is you kill your momentum you you all yeah you know what you're you're baiting yourself right i understand the play is um i understand completely that the play is uh you know in this area but you see how you're moving this way you're covering like this right this is your field of, of coverage right what happens is you see how there's just there's this ton of just open space here that's uncontested well granted that the ball is not gonna go over here anytime soon because you know these two players are are going towards the uh, 
the wall over here, but the thing is, your momentum is pushing yourself in, and everything is merging into one point, right? Everything is kind of centered around this big boost pad. <laughs> you want to predict where the ball is going to go, and since the ball's momentum is going this way, it's going to push out this way. So instead of uh, getting yourself baited, why don't you go this way instead? Right? That's what we want to cover. So let's review it again. Now, if you moved over here instead, then jumped. You see how you have a better approach? Like, you're too far. The reason why is because you kept moving so much and you have to correct yourself. You're not... You're not timing yourself on the play, basically. You're not timing it right. You gotta time your uh, when you approach the play. Like, you know how a batter or a runner... Like, I use this analogy a lot. You know how runners on a base in baseball, when the pitcher throws the ball, the runners on the base kind of, like, run a little bit before the ball is even hit? That's what you need to do. You need to... You need to get to the... The area of... Uh, the dangerous area and the dangerous area at least for the opponents okay where do I go that's dangerous for the opponents right here right I gotta lead up to this right you come in too close here and from the side try to position more in the center and and move into it and since you stopped moving because you were too close right watch that you see how you paused you you killed your momentum so be a little bit farther back on this don't cut in like this, either. Give yourself more of a time to lead up into the play. So it's one fluid motion. It's going to be a little bit hard to get used to because you kind of have to, like, eyeball everything and kind of, like, just judge based off of, like, a sixth sense on how you should approach the play. But you, you will get better at it eventually. It's a good try. It's unfortunate you get bumped. Nice patience. Good catch. Okay, I don't like this. Right? There's a reason why I don't like this. <laughs> You're not doing anything off the ball. You could probably see right now what I'm about to tell you to do, right? Take a second to, to think what I'm about to tell you to do, right? You can pause the video if you want. Alright, well... What you should do... Is you should... Ultimately... Once you land... Right, somewhere over here. Once you land, cut in this way. Why? Because this ball is going towards the wall up here somewhere. The ball is going to bounce out towards middle. This guy is out of the play here. And he's coming in. You should know that, right? It's called game sense and field awareness. Your teammate should be coming up from the bottom of the screen here relatively soon. You have no right on this ball, right? Because you hit the ball just now and the ball is going to beat you to the wall and bounce out. And you're already boosting towards the corner. So I think we can all agree this ain't your ball anymore. So make yourself useful, right? Since you know he's kind of out, cut in. And meet him at the uh, at this area here in front of the net. You want to demo him, right? When you get him out of the play, should be a free net, right? Now let's let's imagine it for a second here. All right, let's see. Actually, I'll go and fly cam still. Oh, I got these stupid things on the screen. Oh. <laughs> Okay, all right. So, stay in fly cam. You land. You come in this way, right to left. You actually demo this guy, and you keep driving. Right now he's gone. You can rotate behind your teammate, and oh, it looks like you score anyway. 
<laughs> it looks like you score anyway, so that's because they did nothing. That's why. They were awkward. But just get in the habit of doing something more, you know? You should know this guy's gonna be back on net somewhere, so why don't you just do yourself, your, your teammate a favor and open up a goal for him, rather than just sitting around. Yeah, this works because they, they're they trash at, at their um, their control. Jun Woo should have went after it. 100%. So, that's their fault. It's not a hard cheat, it's just you get landed on, so it's unfortunate. His teammate is not even playing. Wait, is this why you guys start? Okay, never mind. He's he's playing now. I was say I was gonna say, is this the reason why you guys win so much? Okay, he's not moving. What is he doing? It's like he gave up. Dude, okay. Uh, if this happens the whole game, uh, this replay is kind of like invalid at this point because he's not even doing anything. Yeah, he's not moving. He's not moving this whole game. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what to replay at this point because, to be fair, he's not doing anything. You're going to score here. Um, looks like they move around here, so let's skip to here. Send me a better replay next time. I'm not mad, I'm just, just saying that I think I think you could send a better replay. It'll help you a lot more in the long run. Because this, this game is already good as over. This game should have been over, like, a minute or two ago since they quit. So, at this point, this is just a victory play. Good cover for your teammate there. Okay, you're, you're giving him too much space. You, you, you can just cut in, right? You want to cut in. Just move over. Get used to using small pads. Cut in. Right? Jump and 58. You don't want to give him space. And this and Chillin failed miserably because he should have known that you were giving him space, right? Look, nobody's challenging. This guy's got so much tunnel vision that he doesn't realize nobody's even going after the ball. Look, he doesn't even have ball came off. He doesn't even know that you're not even close. No one's close, and he, so he just blew it. That guy. So, but to be fair, they're just not trying anymore. So. Good patience. You know you have a lot of space on the field to use, and you used it. And they're just going to score. Yeah, you're not even playing either. Just waiting. Yeah, I mean, that's fairly obvious. They're going to do that. Trust me, even in the higher ranks, they do this. Because they know that, that there's plenty of space behind them. So even if the ball goes over his head, he's not concerned. Because he knows that you're going to die. So then no one's going after this ball. So your teammate doesn't really get a good touch either. So it's a free ball for them. Okay, this goes in because you're dilly-dallying. Right? Look at this. Look what happens. You have tunnel vision. You should see Chillin's going after this ball, right? He's going towards the ball, which means that you should cover for your teammates 50. So your teammates over here, more than likely, since he's coming in really hard this way, and your teammates going up, the ball is going to be pushed probably this way. So you should cover over here. That's what you should do. 
you got to cover for these little mistakes or uh, these little gaps. Because, like, let's face it, your teammate's coverage is only over here. Right? You have all this free space to use. And that's where you come in and, you know, obviously cover it. You got to make sure that there's no gaps behind your teammate. And that's why this goes in, because you weren't paying attention, you're too slow, you're not aware of the danger, and you let the ball go over your head. So, that's why it goes in. <laughs> well, it missed, but it's let's face it, you messed up anyway. It's like you guys score again. I'm not concerned with that. Now this is funny, because you should see that they're giving you space, so just take it. Just dribble the ball and go for like a 50 at the goal line. Or put the ball on top of your car real quick. I will not be surprised if you're talking to them, that's probably what you're doing. Oof. <laughs> it's a mechanical failure. It's all good, though. Yeah, they're not really trying. Okay, so here's the thing. I mean, yeah, it's your teammate. No, it's just you guys aren't... Yeah, you guys are covering the same spot. Okay, let's see if he know if he knew that you were going up. Yeah, 100%. He should see that you're still pushing up, so this is your teammate's fault. He sees you, so he's second, man. You don't see him, so you're first, man. Yeah, it's kind of too late there. Well, not really. They hit a weak shot. But if that ball was hit harder, you guys would have been both beat. And you guys score here again. Not concerned by it too much. And it looks like the game ends here. Alright, well... Next time, send a better replay. Um, the only thing I can say, based off of what I was given here, just be aware of your surroundings. Try to lead up more into the play. Like, time your attack right. So you're not always breaking and killing your momentum. So, just those two things. Be more aware of danger. And just focus on leading up to the challenge or, or leading up to the play. So you don't have to be so close and you have to back up and kill your momentum. And you know what I mean? Just remember, go back to the video where I talked about the baseball analogy, basically. So time, just focus on those two things. All right. That's it for this replay analysis, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.